Hello world of YouTube. Now before you get all uh, maybe uh, distressed if this still isn't a discography review, um, I have it filmed. It's on this camera, so I have to hurry up because I don't have much footage left. But uh, I did Limbiscuit. It's two parts. I have to edit it, and it'll probably be up either later tonight or tomorrow. This will be up tonight, uh, most likely. It's 11:15. I don't really know. But um, my uh, newer friend, newer bud on YouTube, Macasaur, made a video today talking about his favorite album of all time. And, um, if you've seen some of my videos, you might know what my favorite album of all time is. If you know me, you know what my favorite album of all time is. But, um, first off, you guys know my favorite band. I've talked about them profusely. I did a review of them. It's these guys. Uh, Greatest Band Never Live. Right there. Um... Which you might not know, it's my favorite song of all time. Favorite song of all time is uh, No Rain by Blind Melon. Uh, that song, just mixed with Shannon's almost haunting voice with these very peaceful melodies, and the way it's just constructed is this peace. It, it, to me, it's the sound of absolute peace. And that song never just never fails to bring a smile to my face. Like, truly... It puts me in a happier mindset. It's a very fantastic song. A lot of you might have heard before. But favorite album of all time is this. This album right here is the greatest piece of music to ever be created by a person. And I know what you're thinking. It's a Nine Inch Nails album, but why is it this? Why isn't it, you know, The Downward Spiral? Or why isn't it With Teeth? Why isn't either of these two albums? These two albums are very good Nine Inch Nails albums. I love these albums. I've grown a great appreciation for this album in the past few months. I do love this album, but Pretty Hate Machine, to me, is this dark, this mixture of not industrial. That's the thing. That's one of the biggest things about this album that I love is that Nine Inch Nails, you know, Trent is this industrial god like so many people look up to him for his music but this album is too poppy like sound the sounds are too poppy to really be true like true gritty deep industrial like even in the early days of uh Nitzareb and stuff this more reflects that sound than it does um like, not early KMFDM, but, like, early Ministry. This fits more of that stuff than it does early, like, Ministry. Like, I'm thinking Psalm 69 days. Um, and this may be because of when it was released, but... Um, it's this, again, almost haunting sound in some of the tracks. Like, something I can never have. And even Ring Finger, to an extent, having these very brooding, dark haunting sounds in them, and, I mean, Trent has his aggression, and there are some of those songs that have that element of Nine Inch Nails industrial, and it's like, had like a hole, but there's sounds like Down In It, and, um, even Kind Of I Want To, and Sin In A Way, that have these melodies that are very just upbeat, but they're dark, and I love that, I love the almost contradiction, uh, contradictory way of presentation with the album, and I can, I, I never get sick of this. This album, I never get sick of this album. I never, I don't think I ever will. I'm, I'm, I hate that I have the re-release copy on vinyl. I wish I had the original. Uh, obviously, that's very hard to come by. Uh, I'm glad that I have a physical, like, CD release of the original pressings of this. But I hate that I don't have a vinyl version. Um, I could wear that album to death. I, I think that it's just this beautiful piece of music. Um, especially for electronic music. Like, it's, it's this... It's this beautiful thing that just... I, I love it. I fucking love Pretty Hate Machine. And, I mean, if you, you know I love Nine Inch Nails. If, you, if you've seen some of my videos, I have a Nine Inch Nails shirt. Uh, I actually have two. I do have a pretty hate shirt. Um, 
I, I have this huge fascination with Trent Reznor and his music, and Pretty Hate Machine is definitely my favorite album of all time, hands down, by a mile. Um, now you know why. Now you know why I love Pretty Hate Machine so much. I mean, it has a song that, I mean, it, it actually brings me to tears, you know? It, it's an album that actually emotionally moves me, and very few songs can actually make me cry, that can make me feel... a lot of strong emotions and that's what I love about it I, I just that's one of the that's another one of the things I really love about the album but yeah I mean I hate to ask this question of my subscribers especially since this is a video response but uh if you have a favorite album let's open a discussion let's continue this discussion let's continue this discussion with my viewers what is your favorite album you can tell me however you wish again I'm not saying you have to comment. You can leave. You can send me a message. It doesn't have to be a public forum if you don't want to tell me your favorite album. If you're a hardcore metal fan, but your favorite album is a Taylor Swift release, I'm not gonna judge you. So, um, yeah, you guys have uh, good days, life situations. This is the greatest album of all time to me. You now know why. Trent is amazing. Uh, I will see you another day. Yeah.